RoboCup is a long-term competition that's hosted by Curtin University in association with Rio Tinto and SciTech. We were required to build and costume and program robots to move around in a 2 by 2 metre square to a music of our choice. Um, we commenced building in April, so it took us about, all in all, about six months to put together all our robots and costume and program and also our performance. And the great thing about RoboCup is that it allows us to develop scientific and technological skills that are going to be very applicable if we decide to pursue a future in STEM or technology. Our EV3 robots or bricks is the base of our robots and it's where it stores all the programming. So to build a build or any kind of structure you need something to build the frame around and that's what the EV3 is. And it's also the thing that we program um, our programs into, it's the software that we use to make our robots move. Our theme was Winnie the Pooh and we got that theme from a movie we watched called Christopher Robin and we thought that there were a lot of characters that we could make into robots and we could really characterise each individual robot to who they were and what they were doing. To be at the competition is very exciting. Um, to sit in the crowd and watch other performances is also very inspirational, not only because we can see what we could do in the future, but also different ideas that we might not have thought of. It's good to be around like-minded people, people that are passionate about the same things as us. I think no matter who you are or how long you've been doing it, it's an experience you'll never forget. During the programming and building process we had a few technical difficulties with our robots and because we have to come to competition already prepared to perform, we had to make sure that our performance was perfect before the day. A lot of the builds were also experimental because some of the turns or the rotations weren't very accurate so we had to keep tweaking it all throughout. We had problems with Piglet and Winnie the Pooh because we tried something different with the builds. On one of the builds we tried a wheel that we'd never used before and Piglet was a different um, movement and action that I had never built before. We also used colour sensor on Piglet, which none of us have done before. So, Our school has great programs in place for developing STEM and robotic skills. These include the Ignite, Co-Curricular and Elective program. I would say that if you're a younger student that wanted to start pursuing robotics, it's good to do maybe a year or a bit of learning how to build and program and getting used to the software. When I first learned how to um, deal and build around EV3 bricks, it took me a while to get the hang of it and I remember on my first day I even cried.